The Devil Dog from Mexican Ghost Tales of the Southwest Stories and Illustrations by Alfred Avila There are many stories of the devil in Mexico. He appears in many forms. Woe to the person who encounters him in his supernatural guise. That human's life and soul are in mortal danger. Many years ago, in the quiet, sleepy village of La Colonia, on the outskirts of Zacatecas, there lived a hard-drinking man who cared not for his people. He spent his nights drinking tequila and pulque and quarreling at the local cantina, and he spent his days sleeping in the dusty, windy streets. Who cares what tomorrow will bring, he thought. Occasionally, he made it back to his adobe house in a clump of small mesquite trees about a mile out of town. There were large cactus plants growing here and there in the parched ground. His house was just a short way from the railroad tracks. It was very rare that a train passed en route to the north, filled with federal troops, trying to suppress the famous Pancho Villa. Pancho was fermenting revolution in the northern states. One dark night, after some heavy drinking and saying adios to his compañeros, he staggered out of the cantina reeking of tequila and lime. He staggered here and there in the darkness and finally found the railway tracks. At last, he said to himself in a drunken stupor, I will follow the tracks home. Onward, he staggered along the track line, half stumbling on the railway ties. Then he stumbled down hard. Ah, vida maldita, he cursed out loud. As he slowly picked himself up, he looked back and saw two glowing red lights some distance behind him. So what? Onward he went humming to himself. Every so often he would glance back, only to see the glowing lights gaining on him. What could those lights be? he thought to himself. Perhaps only a couple of glowing bugs or, or fireflies. A small pang of fear began to grow. He walked slightly faster. His eyes strained to see what those lights could be. Faster he moved. He was beginning to sober up and perspire a little. Faster the glowing lights came. Fear made him tremble now. He started running. His breath was coming in gasps. He looked over his shoulder in mortal fear. Behind him, moving in a fast, loping motion, was a coal-black dog, a huge dog with glowing red eyes brightly burning in the moonless night. The man screamed, screamed, and screamed! Days passed, and the man was never seen again. The local gossip around the village water fountain was that he was carried away by witches. Or maybe he got tired of the town and hopped on a train to the northern states to join the revolution. Quien sabe, they said. Who knows? No one would ever know that the man was carried down into the depths of the flaming inferno in the jaws of the devil, screaming for his eternal soul.